Hey, Miss Nosebleed here, your English teacher. Hmm, what can we learn today? Hi, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join me in this wonderful journey of English learning. Hello, friends. Today, we're going to talk about the idiom, fair enough. Have you heard of this idiom before? Let's find out what it means. Let's go. So, the first meaning of fair enough is it is used after two or more people agree on something. Okay, so when you agree or concur about something, then you can use the expression fair enough. The second uh, meaning is more specific. You can use the expression fair enough when you want to admit that something is reasonable or acceptable. All right, so let's look at some examples. Fair enough, I will wear the gown once to see if I like it. So, ang ibang tono nito, parang uh, ang context nito is parang siguro pinipilit siyang uh, itry yung gown. So, you, so, sinabi niya na, okay, fair enough, I will wear the gown once to see if I like it. Okay, let's move on to the next example. If you love each other but you're opposed to marriage, then fair enough. Okay, that means, you know, you don't have a choice but to agree because it's it's okay if you don't if you love each other but you're opposed to marriage then okay fair enough, All right? So that is uh, the context of using that expression. Umbaga para siyang sige nga parang ganon fair enough. All right. And the final example, it's a fair enough question for me to answer. So that means it's acceptable. The question is acceptable, so I'm going to answer it. It's it's a fair enough question for me to answer. All right, okay. Now you know what it means. I invite you to practice the expression fair enough by writing your own sentence in the comment section. And I'll be sure to check it out and give you feedback. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching. Bye. That's it. Short and sweet. You know what to do. Got any questions? I'll see what I can do. See you next time.